Bose Tuesday. Yeah. And, and we're still looking at brass engines. We've been looking at brass engines for a long time now. Right. As they migrate up to the display case from the attic mm -hmm. where they've been stored forever and ever and ever. And uh, last two weeks we've been doing geared engines. And uh, we're doing the classic geared engine of all classic geared engines this oh, week. Oh boy. A Shea. A Shea. A Shea. This is by United. And it's a Benson Logging Company, Shea. And uh, as is so typical, I spotted this at a, a train show, and I just thought, gee, that'd be really Gotta fun, have that one. and the price was right, and blah, 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 blah. So I bought it. But it's got some features to it that I am rather fond of, and that's that it's diamond stack. It's pretty typical for logging engines yeah. to be, of course, wood burners. Right. Just because that's what's lying around, isn't mm. it? <laughs> so, uh, but there it is, it, it, and it doesn't, I haven't dressed it up or done anything. There should be a wood load and mm. and uh, and whatnot. But it's a gorgeous little Shea locomotive and uh, typical of uh, Lima Shays. Most of the Shays were, were Lima, but I think somebody else built some, I can't remember the whole hmm. story about that, but there were a few other shays built by one of the railroads who built them themselves or something. Hmm. At any rate, there it is, the classic little wood-burning shay with the classic wood-burning diamond stack. Uh, a lot of the wood burners would use this type of stack because it traps the cinders and ash hmm. in this big funnel so that it can be drained out um, quite easily. But that's all that thing is, is to catch I like the, look. The, the ash. I love the look. Mm -hmm. I think a diamond stack is just the neatest mm -hmm. engine that there is. It is. And I love the look of a Shea. Of course, they look much nicer from one side than the other. This is the, the good looking side here because mm -hmm. <laughs> that's the side with the cylinders. Right. Shays uh, typically have three cylinders and, uh, and a crankshaft running across there like you'd find in a, you know, a three cylinder engine if you mm. could find such a thing and then a drive line that runs the whole length of the engine. But uh, unlike on some of the other geared engines on a Shea, it's all exposed. Well, it's different too because the boiler is offset slightly. And I never knew that till I actually rode on a Shea. Yeah, you can see if you look at this from the front mm -hmm. that, the, that the boiler has to be over to one side because all the mechanism is on, is, the, is on that side. side. And to keep everything balanced, then they just move the boiler over mm. to one side. It's a very clever design, and they're really neat, and almost everybody loves a Shea. Mm -hmm. And they sound really neat when yes. they're running because they, it's uh, six chuffs to the revolution because you've got three cylinders, mm -hmm. and of course each cylinder is double acting both up and down. Mm -hmm. So it's effectively like a six-cylinder engine in a car, if you will, <laughs> and very much like the engine in a car uh, because it's a Shea because mm -hmm. it's running through a crankshaft and a gearbox that... Mm -hmm that runs the actual wheels. So it goes much slower than the than the cylinders. The cylinders are ch -ch 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 working like crazy and this thing's going along at walking speed. <laughs> <laughs> but that makes them ideal uh, for a lot of purposes. Right. And uh, especially logging. Where it isn't necessary to get there in a big hurry, but sometimes you have to do it up a really steep hill. Right, uh, they need the, the power. The shade that they operate at Big Trees climbs an 8% grade. That's just crazy. And we rode it through the 8% mm, grade. And, backwards. And, and uh, they missed it the first time and had to go back and try, try again. again. Get a running jump there. Get a running <laughs> jump. But they, they actually have to, in order to do that, pump water because they have to keep it more balanced, some water in the tender and more in the, in the mm. boiler so that they keep the right amount of weight on each axle That's so crazy. that they can climb that 8% grade. <laughs> It's no mean feat, but they no. get it up there every yeah. single day. They make and a couple of runs, <laughs> and it's well worth the ride. If you ever find yourself yeah. in uh, Northern California, not Northern Northern, but right. kind of just south of San Francisco, mm -hmm. uh, the um, Roaring Camp and Big Trees Railroad. Right. And boy, do they have some neat engines, including some neat chase. Right. At any rate, there it is. Uh, this is the United Benson Shea number 528. And again, I wasn't all that excited about any specific prototype or railroad. 
uh, even though this is very specific to a particular logging railroad and a particular engine, I just fell in love with it because it's a logging chain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no other reason. That's neat. And uh, I've run it a bit. I've run it a bit, but for the most part, it just uh, sits in the display case, which <laughs> is where it's heading right now. Is, yes, it's over to the display case. Well, if you if you haven't been over to the channel, pop over to the channel. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. <laughs> and the easy way to get to the channel and to subscribe, and then if you want to set your notification bell. That wasn't your that bell. That was a Model T. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a notification. That's the notification Model T. Where were we? You over the channel. <laughs> set your notification bell, Ooga. Yeah. Anyway, the easy way to get over there and subscribe is the blue button. Are ready. we ready for that? Sorry. <laughs> right there. Ooga. Ooga. The blue button. <laughs> well, we're not sure how you found this movie on the internet. We hope you didn't find it boring. And we will see you here on Sunday as we do some fun driving around. See you then. See ya. Oh, boy. Bye.